So let's talk about the platforms. We have two platforms under our umbrella. Uh, one is Orders In. And if you've read a little bit about it or seen any of the previous videos, uh, Orders In is a is a multi-site restaurant ordering system. Um, it's basically similar to what you see off of a Grubhub or a Food Panda for our global friends. Uh, and it helps uh, customers find restaurants that are near them and they can order for pickup, uh, delivery, whatever it may be. And of course, there's a lot of back end controls as well for you to be able to control every aspect uh, for a merchant. And you have the ability to give merchants their own login and password so they can just manage it themselves. A lot of times, what happens is once you get the merchant set up, it's very hands off. Orders come in um, and it's just a regular transaction going on day to day. There's not a lot of input uh, that's needed from you once you get merchants set up other than, of course, signing on new merchants. So it's a very turnkey business, very smooth. Um, but of course, you know, you, you do need to uh, promote it, get restaurants uh, signed up and continue that relationship. It is a business you have to maintain. So I don't want to make it seem that it's you know, very super easy. Excuse me. So ordered apps. Ordered apps, uh, similar to orders and is an online ordering platform. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, basically it connects directly to the website of the merchant. So you can put a widget on there or a button that says uh, order online here. And then obviously it connects to the Facebook fan page as well. So I do say that it connects to their existing pages, but I, I do want to say if they don't have a website, you can use the platform itself and that's completely fine. It has its own URL as well. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Let me minimize this and we'll get into the orders in platform. <clears throat> So you may have seen this, the demo site. Uh, this is ordersinch.com. So this is exactly what your website is going to look like uh, in terms of the template. Everything is customizable uh, in terms of the scheme that you're going to look for. And then as you see, the search bar there to enter an address or a zip code. Uh, for our international friends, uh, I, I understand that sometimes you don't have a zip code. We can also change that to district codes or uh, territories or whatever it may be. Um, that's native to your area. But of course, the United States, we generally use zip codes and addresses. But um, it's very straightforward, very simple to see. As you can see, you can feature different businesses here as well. Um, restaurants can easily contact you if they're ready to sign up, own a food business, click here to sign up. <clears throat> so it's very turnkey. Um, and then just to give you another example, a uh, more simpler example, there's Madtown Orders. Again, uh, same type of setup. And let's go ahead and put in a zip code. And then as you can see, all the businesses that come up uh, that are in the area, and it will, of course, do it by proximity. You've got the Yelp reviews as well. If there's any fees associated, of course, merchants can set delivery fees. They can set delivery minimums as well. Um, you know, if they do takeout, delivery, in-store, pickup, make reservations, those are all different things, options that will pop up here as well on the search. So whenever someone searches, uh, so it's you know very easy to use, obviously very intuitive uh, for the customer as well. So let's go ahead and uh, look at one of these. Let's look at Buck and Honey's. So here's the, of course, the Buck and Honey's website again on your own domain um, within the search. And it's got all the information in terms of, uh, again, if they offer delivery, that's uh, the delivery time is there. The fee is noted as well in store. They can also make reservations. We're integrated with Open Table, so they can make reservations if they wanted to as well. Um, Google Maps is integrated. And, uh, and then you have the menu. Um, of course, you know, they've got the different categories, lunch, dinner, everything you pretty much expect um, on an online ordering site. Um, so of course, when they're ready to order, they can put in the quantity, special instructions, add that in, and they're ready to check out. And of course, they can specify if they want to pick it up, they want delivery, and that will go directly to the restaurant, and I'll show you the methods well, once we get into the back end that the restaurant receives it as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll log in 
to the admin panel. So this is your admin panel, pretty much where all the magic happens. You have access to the merchants restaurants as well, um, as well as uh, your, your back office stuff for invoicing and other things. Um, we've got video tutorials for you throughout the site. Uh, of course, you can always contact us through the, uh, through the help area right here, <clears throat> but we do have video tutorials to help you through uh, as you get started. Of course, if there's news and things like that, you'll see the news area here. Uh, but these are all your merchants here. Whenever you add businesses, um, you know, whether it be uh, different types. And of course, I, I want to say it's not really limited to restaurants. You can add service businesses. We have people that add dentists, spas, things like that. So uh, it's not completely focused on just restaurants as well. You have the ability to add a lot of different services. Um, for example, we have licensees that have a bunch of spa services for 30 minutes or 60 minutes, and people can pre-purchase that as well from the website. Uh, of course, we're integrated with Foursquare, so if the business is already on Foursquare, that will uh, bring in the menu and all the information. Uh, you can also add the businesses manually, add in all their information here. And what that does is it'll pretty much create the business down here in your area. <clears throat> and then you have the ability, of course, to go through and, uh, and edit their information and obviously assign them their own login and password to manage themselves. Uh, we'll just work our way down the tabs here uh, customization of your online ordering website uh, colors background images text all that stuff is in here and they're pretty neat easy to use fields that you can use so it's quite simple if you want to add your social media links as well you can there's areas for that uh, if you know about seo or if you want to use seo the great thing about these are since they're very they're local based um, the likelihood that you're going to be one of the first or two things that pop up in Google is very high. So, for example, we use the Madison um, the Madison website. Once you put in things like the Ma Madison ordering and things like that, Google picks up. So whenever someone types in uh, Madison online food delivery or Madison um, uh, pickup, restaurants, whatever it may be, your site's going to be one of the first ones that it picks up because it is a local search uh, keyword oriented thing. And all the SEOs and the SEO description stuff is uh, integrated into Google. So you're pretty much ready to go. There's not much work you have to do there. Um, if, you, if you know about Google Analytics, you can also start a Google Analytics account, put in Google Analytics, you can see how many people are coming in, how many people are coming out, um, how long they spent, all that good stuff from the Google Analytics page. And of course, categories and things like that. You can shift these up and down um, and, uh, and play with the categories that are visible on the search site. So custom pages, uh, if you wanted to add your own custom pages, links to uh, your other businesses, if you have an order at apps as well, business, you can add your custom page so uh, merchants can go to that. Um, you can also add to blogs, uh, licensees, generally anything you want to add, it adds a link or a tab to it. And you can pretty much add your own areas if you have other services. We work with a lot of businesses that do digital branding and social media as well for businesses. So this is a great place to sort of cross promote different things. So some of the ways uh, restaurants and retailers do receive orders is through fax, SMS and call. Um, so we do have, and of course, the all orders dashboard, which I'll show you as well. So in the event that they do request to ask specifically for fax credit, fax or SMS, uh, you can basically assign them credits uh, and purchase those credits. Again, this is, uh, this is a, there, there are free options, including email and orders dashboard. So I do want to reiterate that since a lot of our licensees and their customers are moving away from fax and some of these older, uh, these older systems. But we do provide it because some restaurants do like to use it. Um, just to give you an idea, fax is, I believe, around 10 or 20 cents of, uh, of fax. Uh, SMS is two cents each. Uh, of course, you can purchase that, and then you can distribute that amongst your merchants as well. <clears throat> so that just gives them the option if they want to receive an SMS notification. And then we have call notification as well. Uh, the call feature will basically call the restaurant, tell them they have an order, and it just serves as a, as a reminder as well. So it's an automated call. Uh, so that's an option you can offer, and you can obviously charge them as well for these extra features. If they'd like to use SMS or call or fax, you can invoice for them for that as well. But again, uh, most of our licensees use the orders dashboard, where the orders just pop up on a tablet or a laptop, uh, loud beeping sound, and they can clear the order as soon as they receive it. That's the kind of the electronic paper-free way that 
most of the licensees are going to since we introduced it this year. Um, invoicing. So, of course, you'll integrate uh, with, uh, you can set up a Stripe uh, payment account or a PayPal payment account, and that's, a, that's linked to your bank account. So all the funds get directed to your um, your bank account direct deposited. Again, those are funds that are that are sent to you by uh, the restaurant whenever they pay you for your services. Um, so again, if you want to invoice Buck and Honeys, you can go ahead and set up a date. Let's just cast a wide net here. Okay, uh, and then you can set up obviously a monthly fee, whatever you're charging for SMS, fax, if you're charging for call credits. Transaction percentage, if you want a transaction flat fee, you can put that as well. If they're first time um, signups, you can add you know, a, a setup fee as well. And, uh, and then you'll create an invoice. Once you create the invoice, you'll see the invoice area here. You can go ahead and hit send. And there will actually be an automated link that will have a pay now link that will be sent to them. They just click the pay now link. They can pay with their credit card. That money gets directly deposited to your banking account. Uh, so it's a very easy and turnkey system to use. So we also provide resources as well. Uh, we've got marketing material, everything from table tents to uh, business cards, merchant flyers, uh, some information about promoting locally, um, online ordering facts, things like that uh, to help you with kind of get a start in your marketing efforts as well. And then we have a bunch of videos that you can look through as well to see how you do certain things, as well as a presentation and a closing deal. Um, and then, of course, uh, when you're ready, you can set up a, a time to talk with me or one of our sales representatives, and then we'll go through the sales uh, strategies and best practices that our licensees have had successful, um, that have had success over the last few years. And of course, we've got the news area and then your account information as well. So let's go inside the merchants panel. Uh, and of course, this is sort of the home area, the overview. We've got, this is the orders dashboard. So if they put up the orders dashboard, uh, again, they can use a tablet, uh, they can use a laptop or a computer or whatever it may be, set this up in, the, in their kitchen or in the front area, uh, and they'll actually see the orders come in. They'll have beeping, they'll even get an email uh, if, they, if they'd like that as well. Uh, and they can get a phone call notification on orders come in just to so they can pick that up here and they'll automatically look at their orders dashboard and they'll see uh, the orders that have been placed as well. Uh, and then clear order whenever they're ready. OK, so um, let's see, we've got the configuration area for them. They can use their uh, their code here if they wanted to. Uh, they've got their URL, of course, Yelp connectivity. You can set all the pretty much all the basic information here. Uh, there's stuff for Google. Again, delivery zones. A lot of people ask about this. They can set their delivery zones, their radiuses, or within postal codes right here. Delivery restrictions for that, where they deliver, where not. Um, they can set delivery minimums like we talked to. So they have a lot of control here on where they want to order, if they order, if they have uh, delivery services or not, or if it's pickup only. And also they can specify if they want to only have cash only instead of credit card. So they have the option to use credit card and cash as well. And then, of course, set their hours for delivery, takeout, in-store hours, and um, as well as uh, confirmation emails. What they So as soon as an order is placed, of course, they can write their own confirmation email here. Uh, that they receive the order if they want to put a certain amount of time that goes out as well and, and it's very automated uh, so it's not something they have to keep doing and of course they have the different areas where they can put in if they want to put in their fax numbers their email uh, text orders uh, so whatever options they choose they can fill in all that information They're pretty much good to go and they can receive orders uh, so their menu is here again uh, this can be imported if they're on foursquare the menu gets automatically imported um, if not, very easy to add items. As you can see, the add, edit, delete, reorder. I won't get into too much of that because it's very self-explanatory. Um, but they can set things active if they have specials and things like that, active or deactivate them from showing on the menu. And, of course, the ability to edit different things and then obviously move around categories and things like that. So it's a very intuitive process, very easy to do as well. 
And of course, uh, we should talk about reservations. If they want to integrate with OpenTable, they can also use their own reservations form if they want to do a custom reservation form. Um, but again, OpenTable is a great way to do reservations. And if they want to have any deals or special offers, this is the place to do it. Coupon codes uh, that they can use and give to their customers or advertise. And obviously, the coupon code will take out, uh, once they go to the online ordering site, there's an area for that, a discount or a coupon code. They can use that and take a percentage off the orders, or if they have flat orders, they can also do that as well. And of course, their payment integration, very simple. So if they, if they set up their own Stripe integration, similar to what you did for your own account, they can set up Stripe or they can set up PayPal. That connects directly to their direct deposit. Again, our uh, everything financial is pretty much taken care of by PayPal services or Stripe services, their credit card processing services. So we don't handle that. They've They've got a billion dollar industry and we're partnered with them and they know exactly how to do it. So if you've ever used those services, then um, then you know they're, uh, they work very well. Um, so again, they'll connect their direct deposit to that. So all the orders, um, the revenue that goes in is direct deposited to their account, which you invoice them for. Uh, and they've got a lot of stuff for uh, reporting as well. Um, they can easily uh, set reporting <clears throat> and they can see all the different uh, things that have come in. Of course, this is some of our test stuff we put in uh, for demo purposes. Uh, and they can export a lot of that material and see, you know, what things are really selling. They, of course, they have a, um, they have a full database of all their, uh, all their clients or all the customers that have ordered as well. So it works out very well for them. So they can easily put together a mailing list as well. They have all that data available to them. And of course, they have a help area too uh, to get any information if they need that. So I think that's a pretty pretty good walkthrough of the back through. Again, as you can see, nothing um, <clears throat> too controversial there. Again, we're always there to help you as well <clears throat> if you need any help. <clears throat>